Hi, it's Sanjali. So this video is specifically being made for all of you women who feel like love has passed them by, that uh, they have no chance and who are kind of giving up hope to find um, their uh, dream person. So I just want to tell you a little bit about my story. Um, I, as an adult, um, I had over a decade, over a decade of unrequited love. Uh, that was my story. I was, uh, uh, would get very excited and very hopeful and then uh, something would happen and um, I would have to learn about disappointment and letting go. And it was a continuous story of hopefulness and letting go, hopefulness and letting go. And I had decades of that, decades of that. Um, I was single for 15 years and I was celibate for 12 years. Um, and then uh, I got together with Daniel and it's quite an amazing story. And so I want to just give you all a little bit of hope. Um, I met Daniel in 2012 when he moved to Sedona. And um, uh, many, many psychics <laughs> uh, were telling me that I had a true love in my life at some point, um, that I was going to get together with somebody who played didgeridoos and who made didgeridoos and who was a musician from California. Um, I didn't believe them. I lost hope. Even with everything that they were saying, I started to doubt that that was going to happen. And um, Daniel moved to Sedona in 2012. And we uh, were acquaintances. Uh, he made my heart throb. Um, I had that complete feeling of love for him right away. And uh, he played didgeridoos and he was from California. And I thought to myself, wow, maybe this is my guy. And then I uh, had a dream about he and I uh, riding through uh, the sky on the back of his motorcycle, completely in love, completely happy. And I really began to think, wow, maybe this is my guy. And then true to my pattern, um, he got together with somebody else. And so I had to let it go. I had to um, put it to divine will. And um, I kind of said, okay, God, uh, of course, of course he got together with someone else because that's my pattern, unrequited love. So here's one more that I have to let go of. And so I did. I let it go. Uh, he later married her. And so any last ties of hope that I might have had, I snipped those. And we were friends. And we stayed friends and not very good friends, but acquaintances. And it was always uh, a pleasure to see him. I had a lot of respect for him and the work that he does. And, um, and so it stayed like that for a long time, a long time. I remember when he ended up getting divorced and um, I didn't even think about romance with him because we had come to establish our friendship. So that's where it was. And then uh, in 2019, 2019, um, something shifted. Uh, it was about April and um, I was getting over another uh, disappointment in love and uh, I kind of went through a big death and a whole um, part of me, maybe it was a timeline, maybe it was a just this whole area I had to die within myself. And when I came out the other side, um, which took me a long time, took me a few months and um, I came out renewed, and um, one night, uh, uh, the energy of Daniel entered my heart. And I was still tender, and I said, no, no, God, no, 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 I can't go through this again. I can't go through this again. Uh, you know how I feel about him, but I can't go through this pain again. And so I kind of pushed it down, 
and I would say that was about April of 2019. And then um, something happened. Uh, I asked him, uh, it was about October, I hadn't seen him for a long time, and I asked him if he might like to do a sound healing at my yoga studio. And um, he said, well, with you, I would. And I thought, well, gosh, that's a good idea. Let's collaborate and do something together. So um, I gave him a call and I uh, set up a time where we could meet and discuss our collaboration. And lo and behold, um, I went to his house and something happened in our hearts and in our conversation and um, uh, it was so joyous to be together and just really really fun and really really amazing and we both really wanted uh, more time together and um, so we saw each other a couple more times kind of platonically and um, sure enough uh, we went out to breakfast one day and um, he expressed his feelings for me, and I got to express my feelings for him. And uh, strangely enough, we were, we went to this restaurant, it was up the canyon in Sedona, and we went on the back of his motorcycle. And I remember just being so happy, and these feelings of love were grand. My goodness, they were so big. And we were driving on his motorcycle and I had a flashback to the dream that I had had. And I thought, wow, maybe this is it. And that morning he expressed his feelings to me at breakfast. And um, ever since then, we have been together and uh, he proposed, we've gotten married. And um, I want to tell all of you that this can happen. This too can happen for you. Um, I was 57 years old when we got together, 57. Um, I had the dream about him seven years before we got together, seven years. So ladies know that everything is in timing, in God's timing. Um, I'm 58. We got married and we are so happy and we got along so well. And this is definitely the relationship that I've been waiting for forever. But I have to tell you that uh, we both did a lot of work before getting to this place. A lot of work, a lot of clearing out, a lot of inner work that is really necessary before getting to this place. But I don't want you to lose hope because I was single for a very, very long time. And so this too can happen to you. Okay, thank you.